So I'll just run through some of the standard programs that you'll want to use on a tablet like this. Let's take Word for example. Now with Microsoft Word I can, uh, I can type some information into the document. I could also uh, use the handwriting panel to enter data. And uh, I can uh, copy and paste using the pen flick system that's in Windows. That's something that uh, if you do have one of these Windows tablets you'll really want to look at is that Flix uh, capability that I'm just using here to copy and paste information. Now in Word, um, using both the touch screen you can see that uh, when I use my finger the document automatically scrolls. Or I can switch over to the pen mode and I can actually grab a pen and start annotating a Word document. I hope I spelled that right. Use different colors, we can highlight, we can do all sorts of things. So that's Word. I'll flip over to PowerPoint here and you can see that we're creating a slide here. And let's, uh, just for fun, we'll just drop a picture into the PowerPoint presentation here using the window snap feature there. I'll just add that picture in there. You can see how amazingly easy it is to use these programs even with this touch interface. Now doing things like what I just tried to do there is a little bit tricky with touch so we'll use the pen for that. And you can see that I've got a slide here. We're all ready to go and uh, I'll just flip into presentation mode. So this of course could be up on your projector. Now think about PowerPoint and uh, think about how many boring PowerPoint presentations you've had to sit through. Well with a tablet PC of course what we can actually do is we can make these presentations interactive. Alright, no more boring. So we can take user contribution to our uh, presentations and we can put it onto the slides and we can do it in different colours. We can use highlights to draw attention to things. Um, we can uh, choose whatever color we want and we can add, in <coughs> add notes to the slides. At the end of the slides we get the choice with, uh, we get the choice to keep the ink notes that we've created on the slide so we could actually at the end of a presentation save what we've put on the slides and send it out to all the meeting participants. Alright so that's PowerPoint there I'm going to flip over now to OneNote and you can see that uh, OneNote is the most amazing application for tablet PCs. It's still the best note taking application that's on the market and uh, I'm going to give you a quick run through here. We'll put some lines on our page and what you'll see is amazing. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to search through my handwritten notes. Alright, so I've typed in the word best and you can see here that it's actually found the word best in my handwritten notes because what's happened in the background is all of those notes that I've taken there in that digital link, just like I would on paper, have actually been converted to text in the background and they instantly become searchable. Of course, if I wanted to, I could uh, instantly convert my notes to text and you can see that uh, I made a, one mistake there, which is pretty amazing considering the funny angle that I was writing it at. And of course it hasn't learned my handwriting yet, but you can see that it is absolutely amazing. So if you can imagine taking an entire uh, set of meeting notes in this application, um, using of course rich content as well, we could put pictures in there and videos and links and all sorts of things. Um, we could then instantly convert those handwritten notes to text and save yourself a heck of a lot of work when you get back to the office later. We've actually just whizzed around three different applications that were open there. Um, in fact we've got four and five and we've got a couple of different windows here open with Internet Explorer at the same time and you can see that the performance is still at peak. It's amazingly fast. You can see that browsing because of the fast processor um, is really smooth. Scrolling with your finger is fantastic. The zoom feature in IE is not as smooth as you probably come to expect on an Android or an iPad, but it does the job. So the Samsung Series 7 Slate 
I think is going to kick off what will be an incredible year for Windows tablet PCs. Not only, of course, will we have the release of Windows 8 in the next coming year, but we're going to see more and more hardware like this. And I think it certainly will mark the resurgence of the imagination for the Windows 7 tablet PC. There's a lot of good things about that because uh, I see so many people out there who have multiple devices and they're traveling around, they're carrying a laptop with them and an iPad and an iPhone and all those sorts of things. With the Samsung device and devices like this that will come out next year with fully fledged, full operational Windows software on them, software that will allow you to do absolutely anything that you do in your office, but it'll allow you to do it on the road, in a meeting, wherever you need to be. That's what's going to truly enable the productivity age of tablet PCs. So this sort of device, it's not just a consumption device, it's not something that you sit around watching movies on, although it'll do a fantastic job of that. This is something that you can work from and you can do your day-to-day -day work with, and that's what we're going to see more of over the next year.